Okay, so in this video, I want to do another uh, splitting field problem. And this time what I wanna do is I wanna find the splitting field of uh, x to the seven minus seven. And again, this is gonna be the splitting field of this polynomial over the rational numbers. So as in um, previous splitting field problems, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna take this polynomial and we want to think about what numbers would be roots of this polynomial. And for starters, we know that, well, okay, so if something is gonna be a root of this polynomial, when you raise that number to the seventh power, you have to get seven, right? Because we're basically solving x to the seven minus seven equals zero. So if I take the seventh root of seven, Right, I know that this is one possible root of this polynomial. But I can also think about complex roots, right? Because I know that, for example, if I take e to the 2 pi i over 7, and if I raise this to the 7th power, this is just going to give me e to the 2 pi i, and that's the same as 1. So the trick is, you know, if I multiply e to the 2 pi i over 7 by 7th root of 7, so now I have this number. Well, I can raise this to the 7th power. And then what does this give me? Well, if I raise 7th root of 7 to the 7th power, that'll just give me 7. And then if I, I raise this number to the 7th power, that'll just give me 1. So this just gives me 7. So I can deduce that the roots are, I have a seventh root of seven already, but another possible root is seventh root of seven e to the two pi i over seven. Okay, and then I can keep going like this. I could do e to the four pi i over seven, right? Because you can check that if you raise this to the seventh power, you still just get one. So I have that, and then I can keep going with this and do higher powers. And then the highest power I can do is e to the 12 pi i over seven, right? So this is a total of seven roots of this polynomial. And uh, another way to think about this is that like all of these roots, like all of these roots are basically expressible like this, right? So it's like e to the 2 pi i times k over 7. And then this k is just any integer 0, 1, all the way up to 6, right? So those are my roots. And then the question is, how can I adjoin those roots to q in a minimal possible way? So what field extension of q can I take that includes, so I want to have q adjoin something. And whatever I adjoin, I want my resulting field to include this number. So I want it to include 7th root of 7. And then I also want it to include this number. So I'm going to claim that the minimal possible extension that does that is this extension. So just a join 7th root of 7 and then a join e to the 2 pi i over 7. Because if I adjoin this, then I'm also adjoining all of the powers of it because I have closure under multiplication. And then if I adjoin this number, then um, I also have the product of these numbers. So this is definitely a field extension that includes all of the roots. Remember, we're trying to find the, uh, the splitting field of this guy, right? And then I'm also going to claim that this is the minimal field extension that does this, right? Because if I just had q adjoin 7th root of 7, well, this isn't really enough because this doesn't contain any purely complex numbers. 
uh, or any complex numbers. So I know that that's not going to work. But it's also not going to work if I just adjoin this guy. Because if I just adjoin this guy, I have e to the 2 pi i over 7. So you can kind of think about my complex roots here, right? So like I have e to the 2 pi i over 7, which is roughly like right there. And then I have powers of that. So I have e to the 4 pi i over 7. I guess that's like right here somewhere. And then I have higher powers of that. So that gives me some complex numbers, but it doesn't seem like it'll give me an irrational number. It won't give me this number. So I do need to adjoin both of these. And so I'm going to claim that this right here, this actually is my splitting field. So we're done with that part of the problem. Scroll down a little bit here. And so now we want to think about what is the degree of this field extension. Because we have the splitting field And so this is a field extension of Q. And we want to try to figure out what the degree is. And this is going to be a little bit harder because we're adjoining two things here. But it's still going to be possible. So the way that you want to think about this is you want to think about this as adjoining two different things. So I'm adjoining 7th root of 7. And then I'm also adjoining e to the 2 pi i over 7. And this is equivalent to, the, uh, to, to this field extension here. So if we think about our extensions, we start with q. There's the extension q adjoins 7 root of 7. There's the extension q adjoin e to the 2 pi i over 7. And then there's our splitting field. And our splitting field is an extension of both of those. So whatever the degree is of this top extension, it's going to be the degree of this extension right here. And then multiplied by the degree of this extension right here. Or equivalently, it's the degree of this extension multiplied by the degree of this extension. So either way works. So we want to ask, what is the degree of this extension right here? Well, it's going to be the degree of the minimal polynomial of 7th root of 7. So we want the minimal polynomial of 7th root of 7. So what is that? But we already kind of thought about that, right? Because the, the polynomial that we started with, right? So we started with um, this polynomial right here, x to the 7 minus 7. And this is actually an irreducible polynomial. So x to the 7 minus 7 is an irreducible polynomial. And so that tells me that my, uh, my degree of this field extension over here is actually 7. And if you want to check that this is irreducible, you can verify that this is irreducible using Eisenstein's criterion. So that gives me the degree of that extension. And then the question is, what's the degree of this extension, right? So what's the, the, the degree of this extension over q adjoined 7th root of 7? And to figure that out, we need the other minimal polynomial. So we need the minimal polynomial of e to the 2 pi i over 7, right? And, and we need that over this field. And that's a little bit harder. And I'm going to claim that we don't really need to find this polynomial just yet. But one of the things that we can observe is that so this number is a root of the following. So it's a root of x to the 6 plus 
x to the fifth plus, and then I'm going to keep going with lower powers. So it's a root of that. This is also the sixth cyclotomic polynomial, right? So this is phi six of x. And so because it's a root of this polynomial, whatever the minimal polynomial is will have a degree that's less than or equal to this, right? So this is a degree six polynomial. So whatever the degree of, of this field extension up here is, it has to be less than or equal to six. So we're almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna ask what's the degree of this extension. So we found the degree of one of the other extensions, right? But now I'm asking what's the degree of Q adjoin e to the two pi i over seven over Q. And that's actually significantly easier because I have this cyclotomic polynomial, right? So I know that e to the two pi i over seven is a root of phi six of x. And I know that phi six of x is irreducible because there's kind of a, a general result about cyclotomic polynomials, which is that cyclotomic polynomials are irreducible over Q. Okay, so they might not be irreducible over other fields or extensions of Q, but they're irreducible over Q. So that tells me that this polynomial here is irreducible over Q. So the degree of this extension has to be six. Okay, so we're almost done. We just need to recap what we know so far. So we know that we have Q and we have this extension, right? So we have Q adjoin seventh root of seven. And then we have Q adjoin e to the two pi i over seven. And then we have our goal field, which is seventh root of seven e to the two pi i over seven. And we figured out that this extension is degree seven. We just figured out that this extension is degree six. And then we figured out that whatever the degree of this is, is less than or equal to six. So if we put all of this together, what can we say? Well, the degree of the whole big extension that goes down the middle is gonna be divisible by these two degrees, right? So it's gonna be divisible by six and it's gonna be divisible by seven. But if it's divisible by six and it's divisible by seven, it has to be divisible by 42, right? And there I'm just using that six and seven are relatively prime. So possible degrees of this total extension, possible degrees are, well, there's 42. Uh, it could be something bigger. It could be 84. Uh, the next one, I guess it could be 126 and so on, right? But on the other hand, we know that this degree is less than or equal to six. And so whatever the product is, right? So I'm looking at the product of this uh, field extension here and then this field extension here, okay? And the product of those degrees is the product of seven with a number that's less than or equal to six. So that actually tells me that the degree of my field extension is equal to 42, right? Because I know that it can't be bigger than 42, which is six times seven, because I know that this extension has a degree less than or equal to six. Okay, so that finally tells me that this is the splitting field of my polynomial that I started with. 
And then I know that the degree of this as a field extension over uh, Q is equal to 42. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.